more than just bragging rights on the line in Los Angeles this coming week. Welcome inside our San Francisco studios, inside Pac-12 football, the digital edition. Mike Am, Nigel Burton, Curtis Conway with you. You know what this rivalry is like. USC used to rock that uniform. To go up against UCLA, it means a lot in the city of Los mm -hmm. Angeles, but the winner has the right to play right down the street, Levi Stadium. Pac-12 title game against the Stanford squad, get enough, both of these teams another opportunity to get a crack mm -hmm. at the Cardinal. What's it going to take for your former squad? Although once a Trojan, always a Trojan. Always I get a Trojan. That. <laughs> but what's it going to take for USC to win this game? Well, I think the Trojans, they can't give up the big play on defense. And then you know UCLA is going to pull that Oregon tape out and see how were they able to get the big play. And right now, in the way Josh Rosen is playing, he's spinning the ball all over the yard, making big plays down the field. That has been a weakness so far for the Trojans. They have to shore that up if they plan on beating the Bruins. That must have been. It, that it, is you know, tough it, to say. <laughs> it would have been really uncomfortable for you to talk up UCLA in this rivalry. Huh? I wonder how that feels, talking up your rival in, in rivalry. Anyway. Well, that's what I'm going to do. Oh, okay. So here's the thing. You know what else is uncomfortable? The fact that the Trojans have lost three straight that to the Bruins. Uh, mean yeah, I mean, <clears throat> there's a mental block maybe that's going on I somewhere in the Coliseum. All I know is this. If UCLA can slow down that run game, and also make sure that Juju Smith and Adoree Jackson don't win over the top. And the final piece is getting pressure on Cody Kessler. And the fact that uh, the USC offensive line was a little discombobulated last weekend, I think it's going to be four in a row for UCLA Bruins over the Trojans. See you later. I, don't I know you're not. You I don't know be, what he's talking about. You can't be happy about that. <laughs> you know, it's crazy, too, because we talked to Jordan Payton on Sports Report earlier this week. He's got an opportunity to never lose. USC. That's Did he say never? Too bad. It's a nice Well, it's just too bad. Never that is lose. not going to happen. See, wait a second. Three and one's not all that bad, right? I mean, uh, for Jordan Payton. Well, that's what's good. Just get them back in the way. <laughs> Sorry, <world's> Jordan. <laughs> that's what Curtis Cowboy is hoping for. I made reference to this. A spot in the Pac-12 title game, it's on the line. Winner gets to play. Do you know how close Levi Stadium is? I think it's like 44.8, something like that. You guys are wrong. Boy, you guys are paying attention to me. 44.8 <laughs> miles Map away. Because awesome. yeah, we always talk about Silicon Valley, the fact that it's just so, it's, you know, we've got all this innovation that's happening here. Levi Stadium, a great facility to watch the game. To get those tickets, pack-12.com slash tickets. If you can't get to the game, it's all good. These gentlemen, myself, will be right here in our San Francisco set getting ready. 90-minute pregame show. No better place to be. At least we'll be warm. You know, we'll be here in the studio. There's no elements, no oh, rain to no, worry about. Don't have to worry about the rain, but there are some bright lights. Of course, we will have you covered right here on the Pac-12 Network.